Hey guys, welcome back to the Cold Classic Kids Show, and we have to talk about what is arguably one of the most ridiculous video game lists I have ever seen in my entire life. And just to put it out there off rip, um, I'm going to have a lot of thoughts. I'm going to be all over the place. Once you see how ridiculous this list is, you're going to understand why, and you're probably going to have even more thoughts. And everyone in the comment section is probably going to be all over the place as well. But please bear with me. I just have a lot of, a lot of thoughts. But without any further ado, let's just jump right into it. Because BAFTA, 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 BAFTA. BAFTA thought that they, for some reason, belong in the conversation of, you know, video game characters. The most iconic video games characters of all time, apparently. And, um... I'm just absolutely floored by the fact that uh, that this list actually exists. And this list is a perfect example for those who said gaming should have never went mainstream. This list is a perfect example as to why video games should have never went mainstream. First off, they start off the tweet just being, uh, you know, they kn it's almost like they know that this list is going to make people that actually know something about video games pissed off. Because they start off by saying, and the most iconic video games character of all time is Lara Croft. And look, I love Lara Croft. She's definitely up there. But you have to understand something, guys. You have to understand this list. Okay, we're going to get into that in a second. But they said the globetrotting badass was voted the winner of our, of our global poll. What's your favorite Lara Croft memory? First off, look, I, you know, I don't keep up with every single thing in video games, but I've never come across this list. And nobody in the games community, people that actually play video games that talk about video games, that this is, this is their genuine hobby and they show it every chance that they get, you know, at least in a Twitter, Twitter spear, YouTube spear, you know, Twitch, whatever. Nobody that I know of was talking about this list. Nobody I know of, was saying that they were involved in a poll regarding this list. So who the fuck is involved in this? That's what we have to ask first and foremost, because look, man, a lot of people want to pretend to be a part of video games and they know nothing. They know absolutely nothing. That's the biggest problem with, ma with gaming having gone mainstream. A lot of people that know shit want to have a say in games and, and, and characters and all sorts of things and have opinions and and demand that their opinions be taken seriously when they know nothing at all this is the big problem but to get into the list itself because it's absolutely ridiculous we have to talk about Lara Croft being number one first because while Lara Croft is indeed one of the most iconic video game characters of all time to say that she's somehow above Mario is you have to be a crackhead you have to be on crack there is no other video game character, no other that has been as fucking consistent, as dominant as Mario. A close second would have to be Link from The Legend of Zelda, but even, even The Legend of Zelda does not hold a candle to the consistency, to, to the supremacy that is Mario. The fucking Italian plumber just owns gaming, bro. He is a fucking beast. Like, you have to... Bro, you may hate Mario. There's people that hate Mario. They hate... They hate that Mario is has been as dominant for fucking forever as he has been, okay? Like, Mario has, has come on the scene well before I was even born and has been dominant then. He's been dominant when I was born. He was dominant in my fucking years of growing up, and he's dominant now. Okay, even even me as a kid, I was sick of Mario because Mario was always number one. And then as in a, a young adult, I just embraced it and and went with it and I enjoy Mario. But to say that Lara Croft, with how inconsistent Tomb Raider has been, how inconsistent um, the developers behind Lara Croft has been, especially the past 10 years, to say that somehow Lara Croft because she, let, let's be real, because she has a pussy. That's really all it boils down to. Because she has a pussy, she is somehow above Mario as a character. It is blatantly insane. And oh man, it's um, it's a wonder. You know, I I'm absolutely shocked. And what becomes even more shocking is Agent Forty Seven is number three. And the thing is, you guys think I'm dumping on, on these games. 
Um, Hitman's a great franchise. I'm not going to sit here and say that it isn't a, a great franchise, but Agent 47 as number three of the most iconic video game characters list is a huge stretch. It's a further stretch than, than Michael Jordan um, stretching his arm and... Oh my God. I, I don't even know what to say. Agent 47 as number three. I don't get that at all. Um, Sonic at number four. The fan of Sonic in me wants to say that, but you got to look at the games. You got to look at, at, I don't know. I don't know if Sonic should be number four. In my heart, I want him to be number four because Sonic has, you know, Sonic was, when he first started out, he was like that sort of guy that was um, kind of like an anti-hero. I don't want to say he was an anti-hero, but he had Mario that was like the perfect, the perfect hero. And Sonic that was just like, yeah, I'm here to be the hero, but I'm also going to be a little bit of a dick too. You know, like that, that's kind of how he showed up uh to the scene and i was a fan of that but since then mario um sonic has kind of followed the mario route and they kind of gave a little bit first they feel like they gave that sort of edge that sonic had to to knuckles and then kind of gave it to shadow instead but um in my heart i want to say sonic is is number four but if i want to take my emotions out of it i have to question that but it gets even more ridiculous because somehow sack boy Sackboy of all characters is number five above Link from Legend of Zelda. D do you guys not understand why I'm pissed about this list? It and it somehow just gets more and more insane. It's um it's wild to me. Sackboy at number five over Link. Mario should be number one. And arguably, Link should be number two. And I'm not even... Look, and I'm not going to sit here... I'm not the biggest Legend of Zelda fan. I like Legend of Zelda. I think it's a solid franchise. But I'm not, like, a stan. But you got to give homie the props. Link is one of the most iconic characters from a long-standing franchise that has been held to great acclaim for its entire fucking life cycle. How could you not put Link as number two? And really, to bring this up, you want to talk about iconic female characters? Where the fuck is Zelda? Where the fuck is Peach? Where's... It? Let's not skip through these other characters, but I need to talk about number 10 real quick, because... Number 10 is Shadowheart. Now... Shadowheart, I think, is a solid female character. Um, but the reality is she was a thing five, she started being a thing five fucking minutes ago. You're going to tell me that Shadow Heart, Heart somehow belongs on this list over Miss Pac-Man, over Samus Aran, over Jill Valentine, over Claire Redfield, over fucking Cammy from Street Fighter, over Chun-Li from Street Fighter? Are you fucking kidding me? Are you kidding me? Over Sonya Blade? Over Katana? Over Melina? Over Tifa? I am absolutely floored at how ignorant this list was constructed. Somehow by people who voted. Who they are, I don't know. I have no fucking idea. But to actually put shadow heart on this list when the characters that i've listed aren't even acknowledged is absolutely ridiculous over cortana to be honest with you i put clementine from the walking dead series over shadow heart clementine had what like four fucking games great great character absolutely great character um, a lot of people, I'm sure, would argue, you know, whether they're video games or not with the Walking Telltale's The Walking Dead. But there is no argument that that first game is such a, such an emotional, amazing story. 
It is one of the greatest stories in video games. A lot of people forget it because The Last of Us came out at around the same time. I understand that. But season one of The Walking Dead Telltale series is something that I hold very close to my heart. And I absolutely adore Clementine as a character. I would put her on this list before I put Shadowheart on the list. Um, Bayonetta is a personal favorite of mine. Bayonetta isn't as popular as I would like for her to be. But to actually put... Sh Hell, I'm not even a, a Naughty Dog fan very much by any means, but I'd even consider putting Elena on this list before Shadowheart because at least Elena Fisher from uh, Uncharted has been around for a while. But to put Shadowheart at number 10 when some of the most iconic video game characters are not even acknowledged is absolutely criminal. Absolutely criminal. And I feel as though there's a lot of fans of Baldur's Gate 3. There's a lot of fans, and I feel like even a lot of those fans would say the same exact thing because that is just common sense. When you take, when you take your feelings out of it, absolutely common sense that there's a ton of iconic female video game characters that need to be on here and they're not but Shadowheart is here despite just being a thing for five fucking minutes and and i think that she's going to be a beloved character for a long time i don't know what's going to happen with boulder skate as a franchise but i think that she is definitely um on that road of being an iconic character but over Samus Aran, over Princess Peach, um, over Zelda herself, over Sonya Blade, over Chun-Li, over Kami, um, over Tifa, uh, over Aerith even. I mean, we can go down the list of Street Fighter female characters that deserve to be on the list. Um, Sakura. I'm, I'm floored, guys. I'm so floored it's it's fucking up my voice but I don't even think I honestly I don't think that this video is even going to get monetized and you know what I don't even care I don't even care there's so much um emotions involved in this in this list that I feel like my blood pressure is genuinely raising genuinely Pac-Man on this list obviously has to be in the list Pac-Man is a very iconic female, I mean, excuse me, uh, iconic video game character. And to be honest with you, with Miss Pac-Man being like the first female video game character, if I'm not mistaken, how is she not on the list? If you care about, if you care so fucking much about women to put Lara Croft at number one out of, uh, as a spite choice. Come on, let's be real now. It has to be a spite choice over Mario. If you care about women, you put the first female video game character on there, right? Master Chief at number eight deserves to be there. Kratos at number nine. I mean, Kratos does deserve to be there, but here's like another discussion that's kind of on the side of that. Where the fuck is Dante from Devil May Cry? Where is he? Because let's be real now, Devil May Cry has inspired so many other franchises. To sit here and act like he doesn't deserve to be on that list um, is ridiculous to me. Absolutely ridiculous to me. Devil May Cry is such an inspiration to other franchises. And Kratos does deserve to be on this list, but so does Dante from Devil May Cry. I mean, the first Devil May Cry came out, what, like three, four, five years in that range before the original God of War came out? Like, are you kidding me? absolutely deserves to be on this list no mention whatsoever arthur morgan i think arthur, arthur morgan is a great character but over john marston over john marston that's i don't know man i don't know i i think arthur more i like arthur morgan more i do you know, I really feel this character in, in Red Dead Redemption 2, but Marston's been in the first and second one. Am I, am I crazy for feeling that way? I don't think so. I don't think so. Pikachu at number 12. Pikachu deserves to be on the list. 
Steve from Minecraft. For the kids, I guess. I... Minecraft is an iconic franchise, but Steve on a top 20 list of iconic video game characters. I don't know, man. That's shaky, bro. Especially when, especially when you have to consider all the other iconic characters that aren't even featured. I don't know, bro. That's wild. Solid Snake from Metal Gear Solid deserves to be on the list. Crash Bandicoot. Maybe. Maybe. Cloud Strife definitely deserves to be on the list. Um, I don't know how to pronounce this dude's name from Baldur's Gate 3, Astreon. And it kind of just, I'm, I'm assuming that's how you pronounce his name. And no disrespect to Baldur's Gate 3. I think it's a great game for what it is. But characters that showed up five minutes ago, once again, on the list. And I guess I was going to make an argument that since Cloud is on the list, maybe that's why they didn't include, you know, Aerith or Tifa and the same thing for um the Legend of Zelda with Link and um with Zelda not being on the list and then the same thing with Mario with Princess Peach not being on the list perhaps I was thinking in my head well perhaps they're not on the list because they can only feature one of every franchise but then Baldur's Gate 3 has two characters here featured so that thought process is completely out the window which means that this list is a hundred times more terrible because you can feature more than one character on this list from a particular franchise and iconic characters that should be here are not. We have no Resident Evil characters on this list. You have... Whoever did this, you are a fucking crackhead. There's no other way to say this. You should be laughed out of the room. You should be laughed out of the gaming community. Whoever's involved in this, whoever called these shots, you are a laughing stock of gaming. There is no, there is no other way to go about it. You deserve to be mocked. You deserve to be shamed. You are an idiot, entire buffoon. You are the entire fucking circus. Kazuma Kiryu, I believe he deserves to be on this list. I'm not gonna lie, I really do. Ellie from The Last of Us, um. Taking my bias out of it is difficult, I will say. I don't know if Ellie deserves to be on this list. I don't know. I mean, in some ways, maybe I can justify it, but over some of the other characters that are not. I feel like this list purposefully excludes women who are feminine by nature. I really do feel that way. Anything traditionally feminine, absolutely excluded from this list on purpose. And the fact that so-called feminists are entirely against femininity, and this is coming from me as a tomboy. Um, the fact that fem people dare to call themselves feminists, but think that femininity is somehow worse than masculinity, and it shows with the type of characters that they support, with the type of demeanors that they have, um, with, with them supporting women purposely acting like boss men. It goes to show that they do hate femininity. And if you do so, how can you dare call yourself a feminist? But I feel as though women who, who um, show any form of femininity to any reasonable extent at all, genuine femininity were purposely excluded from this list that's why we don't have miss pac-man that's why we don't have zelda that's why we don't have princess peach even though they clearly deserve to be here and the exclusion of samus aran um i don't know i i don't know um you have to be a crackhead you have to be a crackhead she's perfect for this list and she's not even featured and then lastly nathan drake Iconic character. Um, I kind of just feel the same way about him. It's one of those things where it's like, yeah, I guess he deserves to be on the list. But then when you consider all the long-standing 
franchise characters that aren't. Does he really, though? Does he really, though? Um, this is... This is an abomination. This is an absolute abomination. There is no other way to go about it. And anybody that that really does go out of their way to to defend this for some reason, you kind of just expose yourself. This list is laughably ridiculous. And I, I would be sitting here laughing, but I'm just angry. I'm angry because um, my favorite... My favorite pastime, my favorite hobby has been hijacked by a bunch of dumb motherfuckers that think that they should be taken more serious than me and then produce garbage like this. And people think that it's not a problem. People think that it's not a problem at all. But yeah, guys, let me know what you think about this if you can. Like the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel. Follow me over on Twitter, Kick, if you'd like to continue the conversation. Consider becoming a channel member. A basic 99 cent channel membership gets you instant access to the Discord and gets you cool Ziggy emotes for when we go live. And uh, yeah, check out my merch shops in the description below. And with all being said, guys, I'm out. Peace.